Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to be learning how to record MIDI in Pro Tools. Now before we start, uh, or before you start watching this video, my advice is that you go ahead and pause it and go back and watch the video on how to configure your MIDI uh, controller or MIDI device in Pro Tools. Because you're going to need to have that set before you actually start recording MIDI. Now, once you have set that, uh, we can go ahead and start recording MIDI. Now, how do we do that? Well, first of all, we're gonna have we're gonna need to create a track where MIDI can be recorded. That could be either a MIDI track or an instrument track. Today, we're gonna use an instrument track to demonstrate. So, if we go track new, we can do an instrument track. Let's make it stereo and call it synth okay why synth because we're gonna pick a virtual instrument that sounds like a synthesizer so I'll uh, press create and there is my synth track which is actually a virtual instrument uh, uh, it's actually a, an instrument track it's just that I label it as synth now uh, a way to know that this is an an instrument track is that you can see the piano roll there you can see the keys the white and the black keys right so that's your piano roll now, um, let's go ahead and switch to the mix window by going window mix. And there's one thing that you want to make sure here, and it's that you go to your view menu. And then on mix window views, you show instruments. You can see this new area here of the channel strip that appears. Okay. So, um, you also want to assign your virtual instrument to this synth track. So in our case, we're going to go here to inserts, click, and we'll go Avid, uh, sorry, instruments, and then we're going to select vacuum, which is Avid's synthesizer. There it is. Um, so before we start playing, you want to make sure um, on this area the instrument area of the channel strip you have your input right now it's set to all but you could go and actually actually select the MIDI input that you want in my case I'm gonna be using the Arturia mini lab so I'll just go Arturia all channels so that'll be my input so basically all the channels of my Arturia keyboard will trigger sound from this vacuum synthesizer now, if I leave this set to all, basically any MIDI keyboard that I have connected or any MIDI controller will trigger the vacuum. Now, if you only have one, that really doesn't matter. But if you have more than one, you want you might want to go ahead and select the proper uh, piece of hardware. So in my case, I'll do our two rear all channels. Now. If we record enable and I pl pl play my Arturia mini lab, I should hear sound happening. We'll see what happens. Whoa, that's actually kind of loud. So I'll go to my vacuum and pull that volume down. Okay, so that is working. So I'll go ahead and close this and I'm going to go back to my edit window. And this is record enabled. Uh, I'll go ahead and record enable Pro Tools. And when I press the space bar, what's going to happen is that I'm going to start recording MIDI on my synth track and I'll be listening to that click that I have set to 90 and I'll do my best to play something um, as close as possible to that tempo. So here we go. Okay, so as soon as you finish, you can press the space bar. And I'll zoom out by going here in this little minus sign. And there it is. So as you can see, and by the way, I'll, I'll go ahead and take that record enable off from the track. So as you can see, here is my clip. Here's a MIDI clip, and there's some MIDI information there. If I press play, and by the way, I'm going to do it with the click muted, so you don't hear the click. If I press play by pressing the spacebar, I should hear 
those MIDI notes triggering that vacuum synthesizer. And yes, that's exactly what's going on. So that's how you record MIDI in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia and PC Audio Labs, and we'll be happy to help you. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.